up, people? We're in uh, Mill Valley. We're in Marin County, Northern California. Uh, it's a beautiful uh, overcast day here with the marine layer. Uh, so not overcast, we'll call it marine layer. Beach is like 20 miles from here. Anyway, though, we have a purpose of the video today. The purpose of the video is um, these particular people put in, put a topical coating sealer on it, a shiny sealer. Um, and what happened is it's starting to grow mold under it. And the mold's trapped in it. So, you know, the guy's been out here trying to pressure wash it. He's tried everything under the sun. And, of course, he can't get it off. Why? Because it's trapped under the sealer. Um, <clears throat> so, the reason we got to take it off, obviously, is so we could get, once we get this topical, the, 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 the topical sealer off, then now we could approach the mold with a different product. Um, but it all has to be chemically removed. You know, we're not going to sand it out. We're not gonna, you know, there's no other way to get it out. The pressure washer, it's not gonna get it out. So what we're doing here right now is what I'm doing here is I'm doing our process where we remove the topical coating. And not all the tiles have mold on it. So you can see this color here. You can see how it's a little yellowish looking. So that's how I know it was some kind of like varnish or lacquer. You know, it gets a little bit, you can see over here, all the other, you know, the ones I've been getting all this shit off here. Uh, so purpose of the video, people, is, um, you know, they actually pre-sealed these out of the box. He was telling me what the guys did, how they laid them out, and they really cleaned them really good, and they really followed what they thought their instructions were. But then what they did is they put the topical coating outside, and they put on, I think he said the four coats, or two, two I think he said they... They put on two and then did another two or something, whatever the bottle told them to do, he told me. So, but what happened is, like I said, is with these tiles, they all have their own porosity. See, some of them are going to seal with three coats and some need like, say, five, maybe even six coats, you know. So what will happen is, and that's what happened out here, some of them sealed really good. They held up great. You know, we're just stripping all the stuff off of them just to get it off because of, we're going to switch them over to a different sealer. But then some areas where the sealer wasn't where they had the same amount of coats but the tile itself actually needed more sealer to fill it to fill in the pores you could see the water was saturating through and it was growing back out of the mold as mold um sometimes it's algae sometimes it's calcium or efflorescence but in his case it's, it's uh mold here so um a word of advice for you guys is don't use the shiny topical coating sealers outside all right i don't give a shit if it's water-based lacquer-based I don't care what these freaking guys try to convince you. Don't put this shit outside. It's slippery. It, it, it traps in mold. It peels. It turns white. I've never seen it hold up outside. It's way too much maintenance for you guys because I do have clients that have me shine it and just come back every five years, but they got the money to do that shit. Not all of you guys can afford to strip this shit every five years. So what I would do if I was you, I'd switch over to the penetrating sealers. I wouldn't use the shiny stuff out here. Um, but of course, we're switching them over to the penetrating, but the most important part now is getting all this old sealer off. So when I put the penetrator on, it actually goes in and penetrates. And that's where a lot of people have their problems. If, if you don't use the correct stripper, you only get it off the surface and then you put the penetrator on. It doesn't penetrate the pores because they're still full of the old sealers. And now you think you sealed it and you didn't. And that's when you guys start having even more problems. So, uh, purpose of the video. Don't put the shiny stuff out here. You'll get mold trapped in it. You should like us, subscribe. You should share. Most important of all, just don't be an idiot. Stop listening to these guys that freaking, you know, try to convince you they know what they're talking about. You know, we all got bills due and kids and families to take care of. But, you know, I'm not out trying to fix car engines. You see what I mean? I mean, I'm not going to, yeah, I can, let me replace this. So I could, you know, my point is be good at what you're good at. Um, let me think. Um, so I think I covered everything. Um. Like I said, you just like and subscribe and share, people. Just do your homework. I'll leave you with that. Do your homework. Hello. How's it coming? Going good. How's it coming? It's going great. Quick question.